It sure is hard to beat that homemade beef jerky. Here's how I did it. Mm. Beef eye round roast and take off all the excess fat that you can. Excess fat off, cut them as thin, super thin as you can, man. You want them thin, thin, thin. And it's up to you and you cut it against the grain. You can split these because it will cook better and you can serve pieces better. Put it in a pan and what I like to use is this jerky seasoning from Fiesta. Good stuff. And you're gonna put it on there real generously, a lot. And then mix it up with your hands. And then season it again. And let it sit for about, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. Lay them out flat on the pit. You don't want any curve. You want to keep air gaps between them. You don't want them touching or overlapping. This is all the fire I'm going to need. And I'll be doing this for the next 12 hours. This is called cold smoking. We're going to keep the temp anywhere from 80 to 90 degrees. Probably because it's warmer this time of year, it might get up to 100. But we're going to keep it as low as we can. We don't want to get over 90, actually. Right on. Yeah, man. The secret to keeping your jerky from getting bad bacteria or being bad cold smoking is you got to have air. Keep that completely open and then keep your exhaust completely open. You want oxygen flowing through at all times. Every 30 minutes to an hour, I would come out and put little chunks of wood like that on there to keep the fire at 80 degrees to 90 degrees, keeping it smoke, clean oxygen. This is what it looks like after about three hours. If you notice, the smoke is curing the meat. It's drying the meat out. That's what makes this so delicious. Anybody want any jerky? See, that's beef jerky. Real old-fashioned beef jerky. None of that teriyaki, smanaki, Worcestershire-y, crappiola, man. It's real smoke, no dehydration machine and all that other stuff. Real smoke, real jerky like our ancestors used to make. And that's how you do it, and it's that easy. And I promise you, if you ever taste this, you will love it. Right on. Yeah, man.